Unmanned underwater vehicles, or UUVs, are robotic vessels used to explore the ocean bed and they can go deeper and longer than manned submarines would be able to. DARPA's launched a new UUV programme called HYDRA. The idea of this is that an underwater vessel will sneak up on enemy operations. When it gets there, it will release flying drones and other UUVs that can spy on what's happening there. This will let people assess the situation, whether it's military or natural disaster, without putting personnel at risk. Another DARPA UUV programme, the Deep Sea Operations programme, aims to use a network of UUVs with sonars aboard to detect enemy submarines. So far, they have trialled a deep sea UUV created by Bluefin Robotics. The next stage of the programme will be to try it with sonar on board, and then they will network it with a partner UUV. Looking further at military technology underwater, the UK government has recently reviewed its Trident programme, a nuclear deterrent currently based aboard Vanguard submarines, of which there are four. Vanguard submarines are due for decommissioning in 2026, so a decision needs to be made on the future of our submarine-based nuclear deterrents within the next three years. The government went with the Conservative line of having a complete like-for-like -like replacement. However, the Liberal Democrats would much rather have had a reduced fleet and a non-continuous service, which would be much cheaper. Another alternative that the report considered was using the new Astute fleet. Some people say that now the Cold War is over, we no longer need a nuclear deterrent. Supporters say that it's worked so far as we've never experienced a realistic nuclear threat. However, critics say that's because the threat was no, no longer there. I call this the pink elephant powder effect. There's no pink elephants because we always use the powder. Moving from the UK to overseas, in Afghanistan, the handover of peacekeeping responsibilities to Afghan troops is well underway. Unfortunately, it's not all good news. There's been a massive increase in civilian casualties, which have gone up over 30% over the same period last year. The UN report blames the increase on the indiscriminate use of roadside bombs by Taliban insurgents. Unfortunately, this has also led to a steep rise in the number of children casualties. However, in better news, the number of deaths and injuries caused by civilians being caught up in combat is down significantly. We hope the previous downward trend in civilian casualties will resume once Afghan troops take on more peacekeeping responsibilities and checkpoint inspections improve. The UN report recommends that some US troops remain after the withdrawal in 2014. However, this looks unlikely and the zero option under which it will be a complete withdrawal looks more likely at the moment. Yeah.